today's game was somewhat unusual to follow as it was a webcast on MLB.com, with visual and stadium sound, but no announcers. I actually kinda liked it once I got used to it. Game day did not have any pitch info, just at bat results. Pitch info on game day would have been helpful perhaps. Adam Jones was the hitting star, leading off the game with a solo home run to left off Dodger starter Dennis Santana. He also delivered a bases loaded single in the second, and just for good measure, a bases loaded HBP in the sixth, to finish his day 2 for 3 with 4 RBI. Christian Walker added to his excellent spring totals with a triple, 2 walks, and 3 runs scored. Matt Koch, however, was probably the biggest story of the game, as he pitched into the sixth inning. This was his best outing of the spring. Through five he had allowed just three hits, including a Justin Turner solo HR, and although he allowed two singles in the six, and one of the inherited runners scored, his final line was excellent. Five IP, two or, five hits, one HR, zero walks, and six Ks. With the D-back starters outscoring the Dodger starters 6-2 through 6 innings, the reserves started to come into the game and Arizona tacked on 4 more runs, the highlight being a Pavin Smith 2-run homer to right in the ninth inning. The ever-present Ildemaro Vargas chipped in with an RBI double as well. There were a few good defensive plays of note. Steven Souza Jr. had two running catches coming in, one in foul territory in the first, and another to snag a blooper behind 2B and shallow RFS three fielders converged. I was thinking don't dive don't dive, and fortunately he didn't. Socrates Brito also made a diving catch on a sinking liner in CF to save a run. The D-backs face the Giants tomorrow at Scottsdale Stadium at 1.05pm. Robbie Ray gets the start in his final spring training tune-up.